Hi everyone, this is Jerry. You can create a chess video for free and without having to download anything in the following way. First thing to do is go to this website, ScreenToaster.com, then this website, and this is a bonus website that you could go to. So all three of these websites that I just showed are located in the description link to this video. So how to get started? Go to ScreenToaster.com and click on register. From there, the only thing that you'll need is an email address. So after you fill out this form right here, username, password, email, click register, you'll be sent an email address where you have only to simply click on the confirmation link that is contained in it and you're ready to go. So once you log into Screen Toaster, you're now ready to record your chess video. So I'm logged into Screen Toaster right now. And one other thing to note is that this is compatible with Windows, Mac, and Linux. So simply start recording and you'll notice how, how the URL has now changed. It now has this uh, slash record. And one other suggestion is to click here. I'm going to do that. And the only thing that has changed is now it's saying record to. This is a more user-friendly way to record a chessboard. So this right here is the way that we're going to create a chessboard. I'm going to just locate some chessboard somewhere and show it on my computer screen. That's the only thing that you have to do. Here's a convenient way to do it is to go to this site. They have a chessboard here where you can move pieces about. It's a little bit small, so I'm just going to adjust it quickly. I'm going to set the square size to 64. Press enter. And now I have a little bit bigger of a chessboard to work with. I'm just going to fit this on the chessboard. And I have my upper left corner positioned well and my right hand corner just as well. And do I want to record audio? Well, for this purpose, for the purpose of this video, no, but you'll want to record some audio. Custom, I'm going to leave it as custom, or you could pick um, a dimension if you already know what size you want to work with. And simply click, click on record. So it does a little, little bit of a countdown, and it's going to record right now. And you'll see how much time is being recorded. Let's just play through a quick game. Click from square to square to make the moves. And I just showed you a two-move checkmate. So stop recording, that's it. You just created your first chess video. Where is it exactly now? Go back to Screen Toaster. It's located right here. Let's just click on play. We'll see it played through, that two move checkmate again. So what do we have? F4, E6, G4, and then Queen H4 mate. So that's it, 11 minute video. You created your first video. I would suggest just going to privacy. Hide that video from all users if you just want it to be for your own eyes and upload and what this is doing right now is saving your video that you just created on your account at screentoaster.com so after this is finished you have only to click on a download button so the three steps are up simply click on download video I have Windows so I'll be seeing something right here and there it is video 5.mp4 the video is now saved on my computer I could do whatever it is that I want with it send it in an email, post it to a blog, upload it on YouTube. So you can click here to open it, show in folder, etc. It's now in your hands. Do whatever it is that you want with it. I'll make one last suggestion. I know I just this was just a quick way of showing a chessboard somewhere on my computer screen, but there are other ways that you could go about it which are a little bit more sophisticated. You have more capabilities, more options, maybe to draw arrows or uh, circles around the chess pieces, stuff like that. If you go to freechess.org, um, you can go to this part right here, select your operating system, and show me the interfaces. And you get to select whichever one you think might be worthwhile to use, whatever one that, let's say, has the best rating. So um, that's pretty much all you need to know. You need to have a screen recorder and bring up some sort of chessboard on your computer screen. So that's all for this video. I hope you're able to take something away from it. And I hope to see more chess YouTubers out there creating chess videos. Take care.